Kira, I'm home. Hey. Doing the dishes? Uh, no. Why? Uh, I do them every time. It's your turn. Okay, well, can you do them again tonight? No. You want to make a deal? What? I'll do them this time, but you'll do them next week, and I'll do them the next week after that, and we'll keep switching back and forth. Do you like that? So I'll do them like... I'll do them one week, you'll do them the next. Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. And now for 11 fun facts, well, fun facts about dating violence. Number one, roughly 1.5 high school boys and girls in the U.S. admit to being intentional, it's intentionally hit or physically harmed in the last year by someone they are in love with. Number two, Teens who suffer dating abuse are subject to long-term consequences like alcoholism, eating disorders, and thoughts of suicide. Number three, there is an increased risk of unhealthy relationships for teens who have multiple sexual partners, use of drugs or alcohol, don't have parental supervision, or witness violence at home or in the neighborhood. Number four, one-third of adolescents in America are victims of sexual, physical, verbal, or emotional dating abuse. Number five, in the U.S., 25% of high school girls have been abused physically or sexually. Number six, females between the age of 16 and 24 are roughly three times more likely than the rest of the population to be abused by an intimate partner. Number seven, eight states in the U.S. do not consider violent dating relationship domestic abuse. Therefore, adolescent teens and 20-somethings are unable to apply for a restraining order for protection from an abuser. Number eight, violent behaving often begins within sixth or seventh grade. 72% of 13 through 14 year olds are dating. Number nine, 50% of young people who, are, who experience rape or physical or sexual abuse will attempt to commit suicide. Number 10, a mere third of the teens who were involved in an abusive relationship confined in someone about the violence, actually told someone about the violence. And number 11, teens who have been abused hesitate to seek help because they do not want to expose themselves or be unaware of the laws surrounding domestic violence. And that's all.